Okay, so I have done another problem here, a long multiplication problem, and I'm about to cast out nines to see whether I got the problem correct. Um, as you can see, I've done my long multiplication. I've multiplied the 831 by the 34726, um, and I've done that by first multiplying the 1 by the top number, then the 3 by the top number, and then the 8 by the top number, and those are these three rows here that I have. Uh, you can see I've been pretty careful to line up my ones, my tens, my hundreds, my thousands, and so on, so that I've got everything in the right place. And um, one thing that is worth mentioning as well is when you're then adding up the columns to get your final answer, make sure that you just add up the big numbers. Don't make the mistake of adding those little ones as well, just the big numbers, um, until, of course, you put them in the bottom. Okay. So let's cast out nines and see what we've got. Um, so the first thing that I do is I look at the very big number at the top, this number just here, and I'm gonna look for any digits within this number that add up to nine. And what I can notice first of all is that seven and two add up to nine, so I'm gonna put a line through both of them and effectively cast them out. Um, and then if I look again, I can see another pair. I can see six and three. So I'm going to cross those out and cast them out again. And that's actually just left me with a four. So I'm going to move that four and pop him here. Okay, I'm going to do exactly the same with the next number down. So I'm going to have a look at that, look for any numbers that add up to the value of nine and get rid of them. Um, and what I can see here is we have an eight and a one. Eight plus one is nine. So I can cross that out cross that out and it just leaves me with three. Then the next thing I'm actually going to do is times the four by the three. So four times three equals 12. Now the next move is a little bit odd because I'm going to dispense with place value altogether and just take that one and that two and add them together. One plus two equals three. And this is now the number that I'm looking for. If I get a three down here, then I'll know I've done the sum correctly. So I'm gonna do the same again with my answer. I'm gonna have a look at it, and I'm gonna cast out any pairs of numbers that add up to nine. So the first thing I can see is a three and a six. Three plus six equals nine, so I can cast those out. The next thing that I can see is a seven and a two. I'm going to cross those out as well and get rid of them. And none of these numbers naturally or easily add up to 9. So I've been left with an 8, a 5, and another 8. So what I'm going to do, surprisingly enough, is just add those digits together. So 8 plus 5 equals 16. Sorry, 8 plus 8 equals 16 plus another 5 equals 21. So that's given me an answer of 21. But I haven't quite finished because I've still got two numbers. So once again, I'm adding those together. 2 plus 1 equals 3. And because these two are the same, we know that we've solved this problem correctly. And that's how you cast out nines. Once you've done your multiplication to check you have the right answer.